Hi, welcome to Louisiana Entertainment Experience. I'm Jared Guillory, and I'm sitting here with the beautiful Miss April Provost. April, tell us a little bit about yourself. All right, I am a 27-year-old, originally from Broussard, Louisiana. I currently live in Doosan, Louisiana now. I'm sorry. Yeah, me too. <laughs> <laughs> I've got four beautiful daughters, but it is a house of hormones. I understand. I, I have three daughters. I actually have a wife, three daughters, a female cat. They bought me a male dog, but but he's gay. His name's Odie. I mean, he's not rough. You see, that's that's one thing I've always wanted to do. I want to add some testosterone to the household, but I think a dog don't do it with a dog. Be... Don't do it with a dog. Get a male cat. No, cats hate the world. That's why you need a male cat. No, <laughs> I need positivity. <laughs> I tell you what, I've I've got to hear you sing in the beginning of the set. Your voice is incredible. Thank you. Uh, who's your inspirations? Uh, growing up, actually when I first started singing, I had a Dixie Chicks CD that I would play on repeat. You know, those little old CD players with the big headphones. Kids mm -hmm. these days don't know about that, but we had those. Mm -hmm. And um, Actually, I, was, I had a reel to reel. Oh. Yeah, I'm old. I had eight tracks. <laughs> Not I. <laughs> He's showing you his headphones in the back. Oh, okay. <laughs> I tell you what, one thing I did notice in the opening set, you get to play a Bryce. You know he looks like if Johnny Bravo in the Heat Meister from from Rudolph had a kid. I, I think that's him. We yes. need to put those pictures up here. Oh, we have yeah, to. Yeah, we definitely. have to get him up there. The hair is the thing. Like I said, when he's on stage making those stink faces. <laughs> He had bangs. It doesn't move, but it's still a very important part of the show. Now, before the show, we was talking about saying that you do a lot of acoustic work. Yes. I think that is the most challenging because, you know, there's nothing really to hide. You're out there exposing, and I got a lot of respect for that. It's honestly though my favorite because um, it's really an intimate setting. You mm -hmm. get to know your crowd better. You get to interact with them more. It's really laid back. I love it. Good, Those good, are my favorite. good. Now you did also mention in the in that you were thinking about putting a band together. We are putting a band together. Me mm -hmm. and Johnny Bravo. Johnny Bravo. Yes. <laughs> Put a band Johnny Miser. Johnny Miser. <laughs> Put a band I think that's a new name for him. Uh, now your music is going to be primarily country. Yes, sir. Okay. Absolutely. Got a name yet? We can plug a band yet? No, we got to come up with that. Well, you got to do it soon so we can talk about it and, and give you some plugs. I think I should call the band Amy. <laughs> Amy Miser. Yeah, that'll work. I think we went a good two weeks with Hoyt accidentally calling you Amy. Calling me Amy. I've gotten Rachel before a lot, actually. I've never gotten Amy. You kind of look like a Rachel. Yeah. I mean, I got Steve but and my name's Jared. Totally on the other opposite end of it. It's a month. Just call me December. Mix it up with something else. You know, I've had people successfully. Do you have a sister named May or June? No, his <laughs> daughter's middle name is May, and it's M-A-E. That's pretty cool. Um, there's one thing I love to ask people. You know, I ask you who was your inspiration. You said that you love the Dixie Chicks. Another thing is, in this business, I don't. how long have you been? 20 years. 20 years. Mm -hmm. Been singing for 20 years. Yes, how long have you been doing an acoustic thing and actually performing live? Since I was 11. Okay, so you got some time in it. Yeah. One thing I love to ask entertainers, because it impresses me, who you know, who you get to meet. Because you always get to meet somebody, oh, yeah. even local famous, Absolutely. you know, famous, you get to meet some who name drop. I, I love to, it. I used to sing with Hunter Hayes. We used to sing at the Rice Theater in Crowley with uh, Pee Wee White Wing and Freddie Pate. Okay. Uh, I've met Russell Dickerson, who's a pretty popular country singer right now, Carly Pierce. She's, she's really cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's Hunter pretty cool. Hayes, Hunter that Hayes. That starred in the Christmas music? That the Christmas movie when he was... No, that actually, we have the same. <laughs> he does. <laughs> he did. He went, to school, he went to school where I worked. Mm -hmm. We have, actually, we had the same vocal coach. And um, I was about 13, mm -mm, even younger, I think 11 when we met. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But that's always an awesome subject to talk yeah. about because it's real cool because it, it kind of starts to connect. You know, no matter what genre you're in, you're going to cross paths with other musicians that work with other musicians. Right. And it's pretty it's pretty cool when you go through that. Now, there's another. I, I noticed something on your Facebook the other day. Oh, you were stalking my Facebook. I was stalking you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, White sent me your name and I had to look. Yeah, hey, you took the friend request. 
Did I? Yeah. <laughs> so, oh, no, 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 so we have. I, I, I noticed. I noticed you posted on your Facebook that uh, you were looking for advice in equipment because you're yes. about to uh, start getting your own equipment. Yes. Personas. Trust me. Okay. Personas equipment all the way through. Okay. Because <laughs> Hoyt is a Personas dealer. So we're going to get you set up with personas. That's 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 the way you need to go. All right. That is another question we love asking people. And it is really important, especially to me. Okay. You are from South Louisiana. Uh, very much so. What's your favorite food? Okay. You might be disappointed. No. Pizza. Really? That's my thing. Pizza. What, what? Just pizza in general? Meat what? lovers. Meat pizza. lovers pizza oh, from where? Well... It really doesn't matter as long as it's not thin crust. I don't like the thin crust. Oh, that's I gotta my have some bread. I gotta have that carbs hurt. all the way. Yeah. Yes. You look like you eat a lot of carbs. <laughs> I was talking about that earlier, actually. Man, what's wrong with you? Because <laughs> I was just saying earlier that I felt fat. No. That, I was like, I feel bloated. It was like, you, you weigh 100 pounds. I, so think, I, think, like my, I, think, I think my foot weighs more than you. <laughs> I do love the car. Ask him. I eat like a horse. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly. Uh, hey, new set. I wanted to mention that. Hey, hey, everybody, we got a new set. You know, it's not just a black curtain with the logo. I think we kind of no, freshened okay. up and lightened it up. So y'all give a thumbs up or a thumbs down if you like the new set. But well, no, make sure it's a thumbs down. up because I think it's pretty cool. Well, you got to give them a choice. Well, no. Yeah, you have to give people a choice. And then they choose the way you want, and then you can figure you've done something right. I guess. And you we guess? Them if they don't. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> Click. Shut yeah. you're gone. <laughs> Love social media. You said the Dixie Chicks was your uh, mm-hmm. inspiration. What's your favorite song by them? Ooh. Mm. That's a good one. That's the name of the song? Absolutely. If you would like it to be. <laughs> Wide Open Spaces was a good one that I yeah, used to sing. I like that song too. See, I, I I love doing that to people because people who like an artist mm-hmm. can never tell you their favorite. I can't tell you my favorite artist or my favorite song because I'm I have too completely many. across the board on music. Like if you look at my playlist, there's everything in it, literally from ZZ Top to yeah. to to. Uh, I mean, I, I have uh, Lawrence Welk. You know, I mean, just you name it, I listen to it from big band to rock to country to everything. And one of my favorite artists of all time is oh, Prince. Yeah. Huh? <laughs> what I missed on that one? I do say, oh, yeah. <laughs> hey, no, he brought that up for a reason. You're not supposed to talk about this, man. I'm going to get sued. I actually got to, I, No, actually, honestly, I got in a fight with Humpty Hump. Wait, what? You know who Humpty Hump is? The Humpty Dance? The rapper? Oh, yeah, okay. With the nose? Yeah. yeah. I, I got in a fight with him like, like 30 a, years like ago. Yeah, like fight. a fight. Oh, okay. You know, it, I mean, they uh, broke us up. It was some one. tussling. Okay. Don't lie. I weigh currently 300 pounds. At the time, I was like 260. Okay. The dude is like 145 pounds soaking wet. So it was all mine. It wasn't a fair fight. You know, it, it, no, but I mean, he, he still wanted to. Right, hey? <laughs> I'm sorry. We were so rudely interrupted by our sound people. You were talking about artists and, and, and liking certain artists yes. and respecting <laughs> certain sounds and genres. Yeah. George Strait's a big one. I like George Strait a lot. Uh, Jody Messina, I sing a lot of her stuff. Mm-hmm. I like the, the vibe that she gives off. This new country stuff is great, though. You like it? I do. I do like it. Have it's you ever speak. worked in any other genre? I'm country to the bone. Okay, country to the bone. You can ask anybody. I ha- I do sing other genres, mm-hmm. but country country gets me in a different zone. Cool. It takes me somewhere where nothing matters. So let's talk about your family. Okay. Tell us about your family. Jumping right in. Yeah, hey, we just kind of roll around. <laughs> All right. Well, my oldest, she's eight. Her mm-hmm. name is Carly. Um, she's a little diva. Really? Is Actually, she, she's a lot has diva. She, has she uh, taken the musical gene? Oh, she does. Oh, great. She likes to video herself pretty often. She She's a... Okay. Is she actually good? Or is she like my neighbors who kid can't walk and chew gum, but they think they're a ballerina? No, she's good. She's good? She's good. <laughs> she, I, I, you know, I tell her all the time, look, if you just have a little more control and she's like mom i'm eight like yes i'm aware but i started this when i was seven so i know just trust me on this one but no she she is good she'll get there 
Good. Definitely. Good, good, good. My six-year-old, her name is Ava. That's my not-so-diva child. She's my shy child. She'll stare at you. Mm-hmm. And maybe not a hell of a bit. But getting her to say <laughs> something is not happening. Not at all. We spent the morning, the majority of the morning with her, and he was trying to get her to talk, and it's happening. Well, she's probably observing everything. Oh, she does. She likes to pick but, things but, apart and but, see how they work. Look at his hair. I don't blame her for not talking. <laughs> it wasn't even long. like that. It was fl- I told y'all it was flat, and I was upset because I thought that he cut all his hair off. I was like, Bryce, you can't do that. You got to have the hair. And he's like, trust me, it still stands up. It, it concerned me. It scared me. I'm not going to lie. It's an important part of the process. Well, yeah, if it's needed. So, yeah. so I'm sorry, I interrupted okay. going through a family. Anyway, Ava's my little engineer child. She likes to take everything apart, put it back, see how it works, put it back together, and then she. So you basically center. have the singer and the, I have the tech. The smarts, right? Yeah. Mama, three year old. Her name is Madeline. We call her Maddie. Sometimes Mad Maddie. She's a mess. <laughs> that girl is canai to the bone. Matter of fact, I picked her up from the daycare the other day, and I put her in her car seat, and she she wouldn't look at me. She looked around. She said, you know, Mommy? I said, oh, here we go. She said, I sure do love McDonald's. She's just looking around and said, oh, yeah? She goes, I just think we all kind of love McDonald's. Hint, hint, wink, wink. Yeah, exactly. So you think so? She said, it's just so yummy in my tummy. I was like, Maddie, you want McDonald's? And then she made eye contact. Oh, yes, Mommy, sure. That would be lovely. I was like, okay, great, Maddie. <laughs> Perfect. We'll go to here. Well, she knows. Okay, she, so, she's a woman so knows what she wants. this is what I see so far. We have the lead singer, mm-hmm. we have the tech, mm-hmm. and we have the management. There you go. Okay. The I deal maker. That way. I yeah, you, you got it going on. Well, then I have, there's my two-year-old. Mm-hmm. She's mastered the eye roll better than me, and I've been doing this for 27 years. Yeah, I know that you do that every now and then. May yeah. Do so would be May-ya. proud of that comment. <laughs> You know, I've only been there for five years, so it's not like I'm really in there yet. You gotta give it a good ten. But, well, you um, picking it up. You, but my you're kids go to curve. school in Tucson, and so it's it comes out with them big time. So when she, I have to ooh, look at her, and I'm like, ooh. Mm-hmm. You do realize when the two year old eye roll, mm-hmm. when she learns to say "may yeah," she's gonna roll her eyes and say it, "may yeah." May yeah. <laughs> she already then it'll says. Be a complete package. Because my eight year old likes to say "duh," so my two year old goes <laughs> "duh," and I'm like, negative, sister. Not to, no. Put the attitude back in your pocket and bring it where you found it. It sounds like a fun hold. Oh, it's continue fun. on somewhere. It's, no, it's fun. It's interesting. No, well, hey. That, it's that, never dull. Spice it's never life. boring. Spice of life. That's the way it Should goes. Should I say that? It's never quiet either, though. That's well, it shouldn't be. Well, no, but sometimes you need to reset. Yeah, 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 yeah. But it will always keep you inspired in your music. Right. And that, Yeah, exactly. And they love... Uh, Came out with a new single. It's called Dandelion. Mm. And they sing it throughout. As a matter of fact, that's what they wake me up in the morning with. Oh, that's cool. On the weekends, they'll play it on the TV, on YouTube. And they'll bust in my room. Mommy, you're so... I was like, yes, it's 6.30. What are you doing? How much do they get a kick out of selling everybody that their moms are singing? Okay. So, here's this thing. that Nobody at school really knew that I sang. Mm. Until now. So... The day that I recorded the song, they went to school telling everybody, my mom is going to be famous. I was like, we have to keep the F word out. We're not saying famous. <laughs> no, no, we're not saying slow famous. Slow roll. Mm-hmm. But she, um, when it released, my eight-year-old went to school and she's like, my mom has a new song. You should go download it on iTunes or something. And then she, she told the principal knows now. Negotiating and a salesman. Hey, you got, got to call, respect that. I got a call from the school and they're like, do you want to sing in one of our programs? I was like, <gasps> Sure. That's what happens. Sure. See, my kids like telling everybody I'm a comedian, uh-huh. so I have to MC all kind of things. Well, then you gotta be funny all the time. That's too much pressure. I'm, I'm never funny. I'm okay, not. Okay, now that's that's. Well, no, I'm, I'm, I fuss, so I get to fuss at everybody. You know, I didn't tell jokes. I mean, what are you talking about? His hair does look like that. It. it... <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> we can't. We can't drop the hair, Bryce. It's a thing. We gotta keep it up in the air. It's our go-to when we can't find anything else to talk about. So Bryce is hair. <laughs> yes. About that hair. Um, what kind of shows you got coming up? What you got coming up on the calendar where we can find you and see you I and check it out? only got one right now on the 8th, on June 8th at, um, oh man, wasn't prepared for that. Dang, where are we playing on the 8th? 
Mm. Well, I tell you what, while you think of it, if you only got that one coming up, everybody out there, you have the opportunity to book an incredible country acoustic show. You need to give Miss April a call. It's a good time. It's real good. I tell you what, Miss April, I really enjoy talking to you, and I want to invite you back anytime. Okay. Even if you want to come and cook a pizza. I cook other things too, though. Oh, what you cook? I cook gumbo. I cook crawfish etouffee. I cook a really good taco pasta, chicken spaghetti, regular spaghetti, beef stew, meatball stew, chicken stew. Oh, we oh yeah. Okay, okay. We, 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 yeah, we, 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 we pizza bombs too. Okay, well, I tell you what. Yeah. We're going to invite you back and have, have you cook for us. I think that'll be a good time. And anytime you want to come back, Looking forward to it. I enjoyed meeting you. And again, guys, if you're looking for a great acoustic show, call Miss April. Uh, they can find you on Facebook. I'm on Instagram. I'm new to Twitter. Don't look me up on that. I'm well, then let's go with Facebook yeah, and Instagram. Facebook we'll and we'll Instagram. get the rest then. So, guys, we had a good time. Y'all remember to tune in to Louisiana Entertainment Experience. Y'all can catch me in a tractor. Y'all have a good time. Thank you. Good to meet you. Thank you so much.